Fasting has been prescribed for all nations before us. We are the last nations. There were 124,000 prophets. Well, so many prophets, they have their own nations. So many prophets, they continue the nations that their uh, prophets before that they had. And fasting, it was an uh, obligation for all nations from the beginning of time. But we are the only nation that has held on to this commandment, to this, I don't like to use all these non-Islamic terms, all the religious terms, but make people to understand a little bit, covenant, our obligation, our promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> We're the only nation that, hold, that has been holding on tightly to it, not changing it for 1,500 years. It's unprecedented. All earlier nations, they held on for some years, some generations. After that, they throw it out or they change it. Always changing with the times, always changing. That's why it can never be universal. Can something be universal for everyone at all times if it keeps changing with the times? Number one, whose times are changing? This is the dunya. Dunya is an enemy. Dunya is not Allah. Dunya is a creation of Allah. And dunya is an enemy to man. And the tastes and the fashions of this dunya is not the tastes and the fashions of Allah and His Prophet. Especially in these modern times. It is not dictated by Allah and His Prophet والسلام, or the righteous people. It is dictated by desire. So, now, if you are just going to change everything according to the desire, the ego of the dunya, then you're going to lose all the blessings. And there are people who want to change that. Especially in Islam, they want to change it. They want to change it to become modern Islam, reform Islam, American Islam. But not understanding how Islam roots, take its roots in different parts of the world until it becomes its own. Islam has not had roots in this country. To have real roots for the seed to be placed, it has to be placed first by a Khalifa. Khalifa has to place it. Not random people. Not modern day scholars who are wearing suit and tie and saying we want American Islam. We want to change it according to the desires and the wants and the cultures of this country, of this race, of this nation, of these times. Meaning now, you are going to go to the masses, you're going to go to the feet and asking the feet, now tell us how the whole body is going to function. You're not going to go to the head. The head is what? Allah and His Prophet and the inheritors of the Prophets. If people think the inheritors of the Prophets, they are only scholars, then I've got news for you because Hazrat Mahdi salam is going to come and he's going to cut the necks of 70,000 scholars of this nation first. So the inheritors of this religion, of spirituality, of Islam, it does not belong in the hands of a couple of scholars, especially the corrupt scholars of today. It is in the hands of those inheritors of the prophets, the awliya Allah, and majority of them, they've pulled themselves away into hiding because the majority of the people, they don't want the real teachings of Islam. They want to change. They want Islam to fit to their desire. They want to say, now is the time the ishtihad has to open and everyone has to make interpretation of Islam according to what they feel, what they think, instead of asking Allah what Allah thinks. And Allah has made everything clear 1400 years ago. I perfected your religion. And the righteous saints and the scholars, they have come and they have perfected the religion. They are making it more and more and more beautiful. So now, we have come to the point now where we have to stick. We have to stick to the main teachings of Islam taught to us by those ones who have inherited the main teachings. 
Otherwise, there are a million teachings of Islam now because there is no head. And everyone is saying, this is great. There are a million interpretations, and it sh so it should be. You understand? But it is not. So, uh, fasting has been prescribed to this nation. It hasn't changed. Earlier nations, they have changed it. Before, uh, they used to fast one third of the year, other nations. Like, for example, the fasting of Dawud is every other day. And of course, there are people from this Ummah who are continuing that fasting too. The fasting of Dawud one day fasting, one day not fasting, one day fasting continuously in their lives. <coughs> there are some who are fasting continuously in their lives, except for the times where it is forbidden for them to fast. But the earlier nations, they have changed it according to the desires and the wants of these times, saying that, oh, okay, no need to fast. Some nations are supposed to be fasting 40 days. During the time, during the medieval times, the Catholics, they were fasting hundreds of days in a year. And they're very strict prescriptions. Yes, the Catholics, they had. We're not talking about the Bene Israel, the Jews, which is even more stricter according to their law. But the Christians, they had very strict laws too. We're talking about 500, less than 500 years ago. But all that changed. Now, no one is fasting really 40 days. And if they do, they, they say, well, we have to change now. Fasting in these days, meaning I like this drink, so the fasting means I'm not going to drink this iced tea. I can drink any other thing, but I don't drink iced tea. Or some saying, fasting means you have to fast from Facebook and email. So they keep changing it according to what? The desires and the wants of the feet. So the heads no longer are ruling, not with Islam. They are trying to make that, to change that. But it's not going to work. Because there are lions who are guarding Islam. It doesn't matter to us. Even if the whole world is saying that we are backward, we are unchanging, we are traditional, we are orthodox, we are brainwashers, it doesn't matter. We hold on because we understand this is the way of Sahib al this is the way of the Rasulullah we're not going to change for nothing. And we like it, we feel it. So we give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because He has maintained the purity of the religion for us to appreciate and to enjoy especially the Rahmat that is coming in this month of Ramazan. Like this, like that, we're going to come midway point of Ramazan. Isn't it? Fifteen days would pass easily. This is one of the um, sayings of the Prophet in the Ahir Zaman. Time is going to be so quick. So it seems like just a few days ago Ramazan started. In actuality, it's two weeks almost gone. Isn't it? Not one week. So, we should catch the days before of this Ramazan, before it ends, to increase more asking for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and more barakat and more coming out from hellfire in these months. We are weak. Yes, we are all weak. We are making mistakes over and over again. Now we come to the midpoint, some of us may get tired. Now it is the time. A man's value is not when he is comfortable and what comes out from him. A man's value is when you put him into discomfort. When you put him against the wall, when he is in a corner, then you see his true colors, they say, coming out when he's put under pressure. So now, Ramazan, this fasting has been prescribed for all nations. And with the Ramazan, with the fasting, it makes us to appreciate the smallest things, which is not so small, makes us to appreciate and makes us to understand how much we are ruled by animal characteristics, by our physicalities, how much we are ruled 
by the eating times of the day. Now we understand that, oh, we have strength. We are much stronger than, meaning our will can make our physical bodies to be obedient. If you ask someone who's never fasted and you say, you think you can fast, you can go without food and water for six hours, 10 hours, 12, they say, no way, isn't it? No way, we can't do that, -uh, no, no way. Meaning they haven't taken their will and to put their will on top of their desires. And this is a clear-cut example that from seven years old to 70 years old, for 1,500 years almost, men and women and children across all continents, all weather conditions, we have Muslims, we have Murids all the way in Denmark, fasting almost 22 hours. It is possible. It is possible. And it has been done. And what happens when you do it? You don't feel weak. You become stronger. Your will becomes stronger. And that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts us in a situation to make us to remember Him more. Don't lose sight of that. Don't be too busy in these days as the days, the weeks, they're approaching to Bayram. More people, they're getting very excited for the celebration of Bayram, for Eid that they're starting to lose the sweetness of the Ramazan, of the ibadat that we're supposed to s be spending time doing. May Allah bring us to safety, make us to become more awake and aware of His favors, to become more awake and aware of His mercy that He's giving us every day. May Allah make us to be not in ghaflat, and not to be spoiled. And to come nearer to him, inshallah, in this month. We're asking for Allah's forgiveness and the blessings upon the Holy Prophet, the Grand Shaykh and our Shaykh. May they rise higher and higher, and may they send us their support continuously. Al-Fatiha. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.